Welcome again to another video in this series as we profile great entrepreneurs around the world and we're very pleased to be joined again by the CEO of Australian Capital Investment Group, Mr. Sean Morgan. Sean, welcome and thank you very much for joining us. How are you going? Good, thanks, Paul. Always uh, happy to see you and uh, always happy to talk to you. Thanks very much, mate. Now, listen, today we're going to be talking about uh, M funds. And uh, for those people who don't know it, I can highly recommend that you go to the uh, uh, ASX website and you look up M fund and um, very quickly fall asleep <laughs> because I don't know how they manage it, but they managed to make it very sound very convoluted. Mate, please tell us, what, what are M funds? Why should we use them? Well, great. Look, uh, I think uh, the uh, M fund platform and M fund service, which is uh, launched in March of this year by the uh, ASX, is a uh, unbelievable platform to allow investors access to um, managed investment schemes or uh, what we would say mutual funds in the US or in other countries in the UK, Ireland, Europe. So mutual funds aren't nearly as uh, expansive in Australia. So uh, the M Fund platform is to allow uh, investors access to these funds and these investment schemes, but under a very regulated um, environment. You know, there's been so many people in Australia being caught up in property scams or, or other types of managed investment scams um, where you're putting in money and you're getting maybe a letter back from an accountant or a lawyer saying, well, you have so many units in this investment. But at the end of the day, there's no sort of regulatory oversight um, and there's no transparency to these types of investment schemes. So the ASX, I believe, has done a fantastic job in now uh, making it electronic, uh, linking the uh, platform service with your bank accounts. So now when you're investing in a uh, fund, scheme, um, product that, that you have an uh, interest in, uh, you can transfer the money from your bank account directly through Chess, the uh, electronic settlement system for the ASX, and then you get back electronically the units uh, proportionate to what you invested. And because it's managed through the ASX platform, you have that oversight and that transparency as well as that corporate governance which ensures that, that whoever's managing the fund um, or the scheme uh, must adhere to those principles. So uh, an extra level of security, an extra level of oversight is always good to protect the investor. And uh, for the issuers of the M Fund service, uh, this now enables you to reach a broader base of investors where previously you could simply just know an accountant or a lawyer and, and they'd have 20 or 30 friends and they would try and come up with 50 or 100 grand. Uh, now you can attract investors from all over the world because they're able to invest via bilateral agreements with the Singapore Stock Exchange, Hong Kong, New York, uh, London, Frankfurt. So they can invest in your managed investment scheme or your managed fund uh, by sitting at home in Frankfurt. So your pool of investors has gone from what was once very narrow to the whole world. So on both sides, for an issuer, very, very good. Uh, attracting large uh, uh, investors, and for the investor, fantastic, because it gives you oversight, transparency, and access to markets that, and potential investments that, that you couldn't get. Um, best case and example, if you think right now um, the dairy industry is going up, but you can't afford to buy a whole dairy farm or, or 500 cows, so, so how do you get involved? So there are uh, select uh, managed funds on the M Fund platform, that specialize and, and have uh, agricultural farms, uh, dairy products. So you get to uh, enjoy being part of a uh, managed fund and the obviously increased returns um, in that industry. And look, there's a great spectrum of industries. There's mining, energy resources, education, uh, agriculture, and financial services. So it's a matter of always doing your own research, uh, finding the product that suits you, and then obviously enjoying that oversight to know that uh, while there's never anything guaranteed in the financial industry, uh, you have uh, mitigate as many risks as possible to ensure the best return on your money. Cool. So, I mean, mutual funds in the 80s were really big, and then they sort of got a bit of a bad reputation. Is is this is this whole M fund thing just uh, a way for uh, mutual fund managers to clean up their act and, and make themselves popular again under a different name? Is it sort of like uh, Microsoft trying to get market share again? Uh, <laughs> A good analogy. Um, it's, it, it is a way for the mutual fund managers uh, to clean up their act and become accountable uh, to a higher, um, you know, a, 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 an additional uh, entity. So, you know, managed fund managers or mutual fund managers have always been a little bit roguish. Um, 
because we're driven by, and I say we in the fact that I was one once, we're driven by, by greed. We're driven by bonuses and commissions. So sometimes if you don't have that regulatory oversight, uh, and the US was a prime example in the 80s, 90s, and, and up until, say, Enron collapsing in 2001, um, there was really toothless tigers with the SEC and, and uh, FINRA, which is the new body. Um, but I'm pleased to say that the ASX has such strong credibility and their rigorous compliance requirements uh, ensure that any money manager, market manager, mutual fund manager, M fund manager um, is going to be responsible because the penalties are quite severe and you can't be roguish um, on this platform. So you're right, it is a way to clean up the industry, clean up the, uh, the, the mutual fund managers and, and get confidence back in the market, which is important. Okay, so two last questions. First is, what sort of what sort of monies are we talking about? That you know, is this is this for mom and pop investors? Is it for sophisticated investors? Is it for institutional people? Who who should be thinking about getting involved in M funds? Across the spectrum, all all of the above that you've mentioned, mum and dad, your uh, sophisticated investor, or the institutionals. The institutionals are already there, and they reap the benefits of of having direct access to these mutual fund managers. But you know, mum and dad who's sitting at home looking at the news and and see that. Um, you know, Norco have just sold 2 million litres of milk at, you know, $2 a litre and, and they're thinking, hang on, I can go down to local Coles and buy it at a dollar a litre. So, well, how do I get in on this deal? How do I get in and, and become a part of it? So, yeah, mum and dad can be can become a part of it. Uh, it's not just uh, narrowed to uh, one sector of the market or investment market. But in saying that, whatever M fund that you are potentially looking at, do your research, look at their uh, offering memorandum, and, and find out if it's if it suits your needs. Okay. Is this something that people can do directly, or do they have to go via a broker? No, they can do it directly as long as they're holding a Comsec account, NAV Trade, Westpac Trade, uh, Charles Schwab, E Trade, something of these types of uh, online brokerage accounts. Then you can trade, and that's the beauty of it. You can trade it directly as if you were buying Commonwealth Bank shares, which I don't advocate for or against, or uh, NAV shares again, don't advocate for or against. But as simple as if you were buying shares out of the stock market, you're buying units in a uh, managed fund. I, know, I noticed you didn't say many bank private. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I can't say about that one, unfortunately. Um, cool. So um, last question for you. What, what, is the, what is the key difference or, or the key benefit of, of M funds over, over you know, direct investment in some industry? I mean, I can imagine them myself, but rather than me, the... Uh, Lane, I'm going to defer to your expert knowledge. What's the what's the uh, what's the key benefit of, of this versus you know uh, picking a few companies and, and, and investing in them yourself? Well, I mean that that's the 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 easy answer, and you've you've already pretty much answered it yourself. Is that you're spreading your risk? You know the old adage of don't put all your eggs in one basket. This applies to any type of managed fund product where the where you're pooling your investment funds under a um, regulated uh, structure, you're able to uh, invest in a multitude of different companies, different sectors, geographical regions, and thereby mitigating your risk. So should one particular sector uh, fail or, or one particular you know, part of the industry have a, a down period, uh, you may have other parts which are going to be successful. So anytime any investor can mitigate their risk, um, you know, in turn uh, push their upside, that's what all investing is about. Okay, right, cool. And there's no lock-in period. They, people can get in and out as they like, right? That's the joy of this. So previously, obviously, a managed investment scheme, which an accountant or lawyer would set up, it's very illiquid. Um, you can't redeem it for certain periods of time. Um, you have a piece of paper which says you can redeem, but you've got to send a piece of paper into a lawyer and accountant, and, and hopefully they'll give you the money. But this way, you control it. You can simply sell your units in the fund at any time as if you'd be selling shares in the stock market. Fantastic. Sounds like a, like a great product. Um, I don't know why the ASX finds it necessary to explain in such, uh, such convoluted terms. You've just made it sound very simple. Well, there's, there's another one for the ASX marketing team. So uh, maybe someone should take on the ASX marketing role. Yeah, I think they should be offering you a consulting role, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't afford you. Listen, Sean, thank you very much for those insights. Really appreciate it. Uh, I know you have to fly quite literally again. Um, so uh, hopefully we'll be able to catch up again in a couple of weeks when you're free. And um, have, have a great time. Thank you again for your time. Really appreciate it. Cheers, Paul. Always great talking to you.